In a previous tutorial, I showed you how you can add somebody into high level from Circle after they purchase access via a Circle paywall. And in this tutorial, it was also requested that I show you how to add somebody into your Circle community, whether it be a course or an event or a space, after they purchase through a funnel inside of high level. So to get started, we're going to go into our high level account, into our sub account that we want to use, go to sites on the left hand side, go to funnels up here on the top, and let's create a new funnel. And we'll give our funnel a name. I'll call mine access to circle demo. How about that? Uh, you can call yours whatever you want. This would be named for whatever the funnel is going to accomplish for you. Maybe it's adding them to a course. And although high level does support courses, I know for me, for example, I use circle for my courses. I use circle for my community and I prefer the experience offered at circle over what is currently offered in high level. That may change. Um, but for now, this would be a great way to add them into like a community to facilitate discussion and live events, uh, give them access to courses and that type of thing. We'll get started inside of our funnel here by adding a new step. And this can be, um, we'll call this our checkout page, click create funnel. And if you're curious on how to set up funnels, both setting up your domain and setting up uh, the different steps and how the whole high level ecosystem works for somebody uh, that would actually use the platform, not for somebody that's specifically using it like an agency, but someone that's trying to do the exact type of stuff that we're doing right now. And you can get access to that course either by being an affiliate of mine uh, for high level or by joining the all access pass. And I'll put a link for that down in the description. Um, so let's go ahead and use an existing template here. I've got a bunch of templates uh, inside of mine. Uh, we'll choose a funnel step. We'll choose our order page uh, funnel and we'll go ahead and choose the order form as our step. Click import. That saves us a bunch of time. Now we have our order form set up in our funnel and we can go over to products and add a product to this checkout step. We'll go ahead and choose our widget A product. I walk you through creating products uh, in my course. And if you're interested, I can make a tutorial on that. Just go ahead and request it. I'll put a link, uh, by the way, where you can request tutorials. I've got like a new uh, request board set up. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. We'll go ahead and choose the price that we've already set up for $97. And we can just call this our course. And under advanced options, uh, that looks good to me. We're not gonna have a bump offer for now. We'll click save. So we've added our course in there. And then we're going to go over to back to overview. And we're going to use this little drop down and edit our checkout page in a new tab. And of course you can edit this page however you want using the page builder here inside of high level. Uh, don't forget to select the form, however, the checkout form and make any additional changes to the form that you might need. Um, for example, if you don't need their phone number, remove the phone number. That type of thing is under advanced and then you just scroll down until you find the phone number. That's right here, toggle phone number, we'll hide it, we don't need that. Um, we don't need their company name, so we can hide that. And you can toggle on a terms and conditions and you can edit that however you want right here. And then from there, you can of course highlight that, click the three dots, add a link, open it in a new window, click save, and now you've got a terms and conditions automatically added. And then the most important step here would be under general with the form selected, choosing what happens after the sale goes through. You can choose to go to the next step where you could create a confirmation page which is probably the best UX, uh, or you could alternatively redirect them uh, directly into your community. But I like the uh, going to the next step option for um, setting up a confirmation page. Um, so we'll go ahead and click save on this page. And if you do click publish, just remember you're going to need to select a domain, which I go over in my course as well. Um, feel free to request a tutorial on that if you'd like. Um, but with this page saved, we can come back here and we can add another step if we wanted to have a confirmation page, create our funnel step there. And I think I've created a, a very simple uh, funnel. We'll just go ahead and import uh, for our confirmation page. It might actually just be blank. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, but for this step, let's go ahead and open it in a new tab. All right. So I just basically made it where it's going to show their, their confirmation information, which I think is really good to do. But what we can also do here is put more information up top, clicking the plus symbol in the upper left hand corner. We could add like a call to action. You know, thanks for your order. And then you can add a button here. And if you scroll down to the bottom, that's one thing I've always found so funny about the, the high level builder is that you have to click on the button. Then on the right side, scroll all the way down. And here's where you can add the text. So we could say head over to the community. You can customize the button however you want. You can make it 
whatever color matches your brand, and then just link this over to your community. The next step though of this tutorial is to show you how after they've purchased inside of High Level, we give them access and not only give them access, but invite them to the community on which they're going to need in order to log in. So of course you'll save this page and you'll publish it to your domain that you've set up. And now let's talk about the two different tool options that we have for giving them access. Now, like I've mentioned in past videos where I talk about Circle, at least at the time of recording this, the business plan is the only plan that gives API access. And that API access is what you need in order to use any tool other than Zapier. So you can do the math on this and decide if $219 a month or annually $199 a month is something that you want to buy into to get access to things like workflows, email white labeling, um, that type of stuff. Uh, but if, if not, you may instead think that the professional plan is a better deal uh, where you can still get access to Zapier and a lot of other basically core features of the platform and then just purchase Zapier. And the difference between the cost of the professional plan plus Zapier is still significantly less money per month uh, than if you upgrade to the business plan. But if you'd like all these other features, then it would make sense to get the business plan. Don't use Zapier and use a much more affordable option uh, like Sure Triggers or something like that in order to give access uh, to your Circle account. So I wanted to go over those details. I, I feel like that's a pretty important point here in a tutorial like this. Uh, I know it's kind of boring, but it's important. Uh, but okay, so that's the Circle plans. Now with that in mind, we are not quite done yet inside of High Level. We need to go to Automation. We need to create a workflow from scratch. And give our workflow a name. We'll call this Access to Circle Course or something like that. Uh, I believe we were selling our course. So our trigger is going to be that uh, something was purchased or an order was submitted. So you can scroll down here if you're not familiar with what to search for. And we're going to look for order submitted. And then we need to add a filter and our filter will be a global product is, and in this case, we had created a product for our course. We just used widget A as our example here. So I'll save that trigger. So anytime somebody purchases that product, we're going to then add an action and our action is going to be a webhook. So we're going to post and here's where Zapier comes in. And now let's come over to our Zapier account, create a new Zap and make the event be a webhook by Zapier. And we're going to choose that we're going to catch a hook. We'll click continue and continue again. And now it says they're listening. So we're going to copy our webhook. We're going to come back into our high level account, paste in our webhook URL. And by default, we don't have to set up key value pairs because they do have, there's a little tiny link here for standard data, uh, first underscore name, email, those are the typical keys. You can, however, define data if you wanted to define uh, key value pairs, but they are included in addition to the standard data. So entirely unnecessary. Um, so we can save this action and we have to trigger it. So we can click test workflow and we can test with uh, a test user and run a test. Uh, so by testing our workflow, uh, we received some test data. So let's continue with our, our record here. And we're going to choose the next action as circle. And our event is going to be to invite the member to our community. We'll click next, add your circle account if you haven't already. Very simple, just grab your API key, pop it in, follow the steps. And now we're going to map the data. So we're going to click here and map the data that came in. We're going to leave the password field blank so that the user can set one on their own. We're going to insert their name. We could just put the first name that came through, choose the community that we just integrated into Zapier. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to keep looking for more fields that we want to pre-populate here. So spaces and groups, this is where we're going to actually give them access. Uh, to what they purchased. So I could find a specific space. I'll just refresh my list here. And I think I have a course in here. Yeah, um, building with Astra and Spectra. So I could just choose that and say that was my course that I'm giving them access to that they purchased. Uh, if I wanted to add them to space groups, I could. Um, for example, I have a courses space group. Maybe they purchased my all access pass and I wanted to give them access to everything. Uh, that's also doable. And then tags, I recommend you use tags inside of your circle community. Um, in this case, it wouldn't make sense, but if they had purchased my all access membership, I would certainly add them to that tag. Uh, and then right here, it says skip invitation email. In a lot of my other videos I've shown, you would skip the invitation email because we were using things like single sign on, um, but we're not in this case. So I would say leave that blank and then 
um, inside of your circle community. I'll show you where to edit that invitation email. Uh, and then we'll, we'll go into our circle community to make sure that's set up properly uh, and then click continue. And now uh, we can, I'm going to skip testing this step, but you can test that step if you'd like uh, to send the user's data over. Uh, and then from here inside of Zapier, you're free to uh, add on any additional actions that you would like, and then you can publish this Zap. Inside of your Circle account, you can go to Members, Onboarding, and you can, under this Customize section, you can customize the invitation email uh, if you would like that people receive when they don't already have a Circle account. So you can toggle that on, and this is that email that they're going to get um, to basically accept your invitation to create their account for your community. Pretty simple stuff. Um, basically, they just need to click that accept invitation link and then they'll, they'll be able to create their account inside of your community. And you can customize that for um, people that already have a Circle account uh, or people that don't, depending on if you let people log in with their existing Circle accounts. And then lastly, if we come back over into our, our workflow that we had created inside of um, High Level, don't forget you're going to want to save this and publish it. And then, of course, you can add additional actions. You can tag the user here inside of your High Level account with the product that they purchased. So I could add a tag to this contact. Um, I'll just put demo here. Save that. And now they've been tagged. And here's where I can also send additional onboarding emails. So Remember, in our current setup, Circle is going to send that invitation email, but there's no reason why we couldn't add a wait step. Maybe wait here for, I don't know, two days or a day, and then come in here and add an email step and send them another email. Hey, how are you getting on with the community? Uh, here's some great spaces I recommend if you haven't checked them out. Uh, if you checked out our courses and our office hours, that type of thing, um, which is always a nice little add-on. And it's completely handled from inside of high level and you know that this person has already purchased uh, because they're set up inside of your funnel. So that's how to add people to a Circle community through a high-level funnel. Uh, there's more we could go into if you're interested. Uh, for example, based on subscriptions, if they cancel their subscription, removing them from the community. If you're interested in those types of tutorials, please let me know. I've also included down below in the description uh, links to a board, like an idea board, where you can submit a request for tutorials. People can vote on them and I can add them to my roadmap, as well as links to my high-level course and my all-access pass. Uh, but as always, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, and I'll see you in the next video.